Hello and welcome back to Aspen Cooking, my friends. Today we are back with another great, super simple and very delicious recipe of rock fish. This is a rock fish that was purchased over at Costco. Um, it's hard to get fresh. We live in Colorado, so we hunt for really good deals for fresh you know, seafood at Costco whenever we can get one. We purchase it and try to enjoy. And this is the fried version of this fish. And for this recipe, we'll need flour, lemon pepper mix with a little bit of salt. We will need one egg with three tablespoons of milk. We will need Parmesan cheese and panko crumbs. The recipe is as simple as they can get. First, we're going to inspect our rockfish, make sure there are no bones in here. And now it's a very simple flow. We're going to dip the fish and make sure it's thoroughly well coated with flour, lemon, pepper, and salt. We will get rid of excess. We will go ahead and dip it in our milk and egg solution. We'll just let the drippings come right off. And in the last mixture of panko crust and Parmesan cheese, making sure it's well coated as well. This is, this is amazing. So my wife is trying to film it and direct me on how to make best view for you as <laughs> my viewers. And I am just trying to get this done right now, okay? Don't judge me. This is our first experience with YouTube videos. We love to cook and love to share our experiences with you. So healthy criticism is always welcome. I do believe this is turning out just the way I envisioned it originally. Well, but I don't want to run just a little bit ahead of myself. I'm going to wait until I'm going to fry these babies. And I do think it's going to be super delicious. And whoever does this recipe, if you do end up doing it, please drop a comment and let me know. Maybe you loved it, maybe you absolutely hated it, or maybe you improved a little. And your input is always valued. And again, if you like the video, if you like the recipe, please support us. It is important to the channel. It is important to us. We would love to keep sharing this, these recipes with you. Now we have our beautiful fish prepared and ready for frying. I'm going to use my avocado oil and the cast iron skillet. Um, you can do this recipe in the oven. If you do end up using oven, go ahead and place your cast iron skillet in the oven and preheat it to 425 degrees and add oil. I use avocado oil, it has a very high smoke point, so you're not going to smoke out your entire space wherever you're cooking, apartment, home. Uh, I'm going to use a single burner, it's an induction burner, it creates heat very, very quickly um, and uh, it's quite efficient. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on frying. Put this baby in. I'm going to set the temperature on the burner to uh, 400 degrees. It is going to be a little bit less. Actually, maybe we'll start, you know, we'll start off at around probably, mm, let's go with 400. Let's go with 400 right now. The reason it's less on this cast iron uh, in the setup that I'm using uh, with induction burner is because the heat will be actually truly higher in this application than it would have been in the oven. So just to avoid you know, burning the food, you don't want to, uh, you want to set it up a little bit lower than if you were to do this recipe in the oven. I've reduced the temperature down to 350 degrees. I believe it was a little bit too hot for the application there uh, for my setup in here. Um, I'm laying the fish. Always lay the fish away from yourself. Make sure it's properly laying. It's not buckling. If it's buckling, uh, go ahead and press firmly on it and the buckling will go away. 
we're gonna have to make a couple of batches off the fish. We're going to let the fish fry on the cast iron for about two minutes on each side before you flip it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, wait a couple of minutes and I'll get right back to you. Guys, this is turning out perfectly. Look how beautiful, golden our fish becomes. This crust is amazing. It is going to be a bit crunchy. So it's been about two and a half, maybe three minutes for this piece right here. I'm checking my fish to make sure I'm not burning anything. And as I am satisfied with the color, I am flipping it over. We created a side, which is a mashed potato. We're not going to show you how to do that. We will leave it for another video, how to make a super delicious mashed potatoes. But here is the result. So here's what we have. I created a nice crunchy crust and I bet it's super flaky. And it sure is. Look how white and flaky this fish is. I just can't help myself, but I really, really want to try this. Mm. Super delicious. Very crunchy. It's flaky and it's seasoned just perfectly. If you guys like what you see, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We will be cooking more delicious recipes and would love to share those with you. And we'll see you soon on Aspen Cooking.